feelings are not always something that we can ignore and avoid talking about. The other day I was at a bar and a friend of mine had a drink and I asked him if I could have a sip and he jokingly said, yeah, of course, unless you have herpes. My face, I, I was in shock. Most people don't understand why that's such an insensitive joke, yet it's only at that time that people think about STIs and we need to confront that. Education and this conversation are so important and this is why we're seeking to change the stigma surrounding STIs, because they are real, they are preventable, and they are treatable with the right medical assistance. I started hearing things from my friends like, I don't use condoms. There became a point where all of my friends were sitting around and we were talking, and every single one had mentioned that they had unsafe sex. It was as if they were bragging about it. It seems crazy, right? But this is the reality our generation faces. Boys and girls alike don't feel like they need to use condoms and many don't even bother to get STI checked before engaging in sex with another person. STIs are very real. In fact, they affect one out of four college students. One in six people have genital herpes. But of those people, how many of those get checked? It is important that we take care of our health as well as stop the spread of STIs to others. Of course, we would like to see a world where people take responsibility for their sexual health. So if you are sexually active, we recommend you get checked every time you're with a new partner for an STI. However, we do realize it's not always easy for others. someone who's alone and suspects that the bump on their penis is an STI but they don't have access to STI testing or the education to understand the repercussions of not getting tested. So then they don't go and they don't understand how that affects their health in the long term or how they can affect others' health unintentionally. What about two individuals who are about to have sex but don't know whether or not the other person's been tested and they see something suspicious? What do you do then? Do you just trust that your partner's been tested? So our team is currently working on developing products focused on women's sexual health and targeting instant detection of pH imbalances in the vagina. We are looking to improve our workshops challenge each to be sensitive and applicable to a specific community. We plan on expanding programs and educational outreach to a wide range of demographics around the world since we recognize this is an issue not um, about our specific campus. On the campaign side, we're seeking to partner with University Health Services, Planned Parenthood, and any other sexual wellness centers that can promote a conversation around sexual health. We can't change the stigma without your help. Join us, and together we can change the stigma around STIs. Mm -hmm.